Captain Andrea is with us. Hey, Andrea, welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. And a couple's or a spouse on board night. How are you? I'm doing better than I deserve. How are you, Dave? <laughs> Just the same. How can I help? Um, well, I am a former reluctant spouse. Ah, a recovering reluctant spouse. Very good. Yes, absolutely. Um, so your husband was married... trying to get you on board. Yes, we got married in um, August of 2006. And that same summer, I had graduated from my master's program in marriage and family therapy, ironically. <laughs> and right after we got married, my husband had received your book, and he tried to get me to read it. And since I had just finished graduate school, I had no interest in reading anything that was remotely academic. Um, as he kept trying, <laughs> my, boat kept is, trying. My, my book is not remotely academic, though. <laughs> Harry Potter was about as academic oh, as I, I got wanted you. Okay. to get. <laughs> Nonfiction was okay. I got you. Yes. Um, but he, I was driving around a lot for my new job, so he asked if I would at least listen to the audio version, and I agreed kind of just to get him off my back. Mm -hmm. um, listen to your book. I thought it made some sense, but I was still reluctant um, to cut up those credit cards. And um, my husband agreed. He was very, very patient with me and agreed to let us build our $1,000 emergency fund before um, we cut up the credit card. Mm -hmm. And then I started to see that that snowball start to work, and I, I jumped on board. Um, and so we have paid off in two and a half years over $58,000. Wow. Congratulations. That's amazing. What a great story. So. Well, now you ought to have some real insight with your counseling degree, your therapy degree. Uh, why was it that you were looking back on it, self-analyzed, looking back on it, why you were resistant? Uh, I think I was, part of it was um, being burnt out with some school um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the stress of finishing school and getting married kind of all at the same time. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I think that was kind of the main point of what got me on board is we had a great foundation um, so with our marriage. We were friends for a long time, so we had um, good communication. So he was able him. to pull you in because he's a good friend. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm. And he was, he was very, very patient with me. He didn't um, mm -hmm. yell at me when I was being resistant. He didn't try to force it on me. He mm -hmm. just kind of sat me down and said, you know, this is really important to me. Will you please just listen to this? Um, yeah, and you wanted and to, you did it as a gift to him. Absolutely. Initially, but then you started to see kind of that the stuff works and and, and owned it for yourself then. Yeah, once I saw those... That so in the go, burnout of school and all of that, would it be okay to say, and I don't, don't let me put words in your mouth, you tell me, but was it, I just don't want to face this, kind of like denial? Uh, definitely. I, I graduated with a whole bunch of student loans, uh -huh. and it was scary. It was very scary to look at um, how much I'd gone into debt. And $58,000 later is where you are now paid off. That's pretty incredible. Yeah. We still have 17 to go, but we'll get there soon. Very cool. Very cool. So as you're doing your studies, because uh, I have not done that formal study in counseling and academia, mine's in business, but I've done informal with just work with counselors like yourself over the years mm -hmm. and certainly reading everything I can get my hands on. But do you, uh, do, do, does the academic research that you've seen back up what we're talking about tonight? Absolutely. And I think a lot of times money is the topic, but what it is is a breakdown in the process of communication and problem solving within a marriage, and money's mm -hmm. just kind of the way it manifests itself. Yeah, trust, respect, communication are the real problems. Money's more the symptom. Absolutely. Yeah, I wouldn't disagree with that. Money, uh, uh, my friends that are counselors that I used to do work with that did uh, substance abuse and did uh, financial counseling and that kind of thing, they said, Ramsey, you're the only one in here that treats the symptom. <laughs> <laughs> we all treat the real problem. And that's, you know, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of truth to that. It really is. So very interesting. Well, congratulations. And you guys are how old? Uh, I'm 26 and my husband's 27. Okay. So speak to a husband or a wife out there that has a spouse that's reluctant based on your experience, how would you suggest as a therapist and as someone who's experienced being a formerly reluctant spouse, how would you tell them to reel their spouse in? Be patient, um, be kind. Um, I like what you tell your listeners of just sit down with them, look them in the eyes and say, this is something that's really, really important to me. And if you have a good foundation in your marriage, your spouse will hear that. And 
and um, say, you know, please just let it, let's try this. What we've been doing have, has not been working. Um, let's give it a try, and we'll go slowly, and hopefully this will start to work and hmm. fix, fix up what's going on in our money. Ah, okay. So it's kind of a, a, a gentle easing in, but and this is important to me, and, and um, very, very good. Very good. Great call, Andrea. Thank you. It's a pleasure to talk to you, and congratulations on your $58,000 in debt reduction. Absolutely amazing. More of your calls and emails right after this break. Send me your questions at Dave on Air. At Dave